Earth went around the sun. Let's no, nah, man. What are you nah. talking about? Niggas love New Year. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one fucking day. One time, one of the bitches pulled another picture of the bitch I was sucking dick. Bro, what? She's like, what? You talking shit? I got a picture of you sucking dick. <laughs> and whipped the picture out. <laughs> you won. You got motherfuckers like this busting bars, man. I blame Eight Mile. All right, <laughs> and I just love it, man. It's it's fucking. Who don't want to see uh, two black men insult each other in rhythmic form <laughs> <laughs> three minutes straight? Like you get what I'm saying? It's like Danny Brown show. Sit back, relax your eye. Ready now? Why your mates do the yows? It's like Danny Brown show. We about to get live. Let's go. It's like Danny Brown show. Sit back, relax your eye. Ready now? Why your mates do the yows? It's like Danny Brown show. We about to get live. Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. What up, Joe? It's your boy. Coming to y'all straight from Austin, Texas, live at YMA Studios. It's the Danny Brown Show. Thank y'all motherfuckers for tuning in with me. I got the booth boys with me. Yo. Yeah, yeah, what up? I got my I got none other than a young king with me right now. Red Veil, what's up, man? Red How you Vail. doing, brother? I'm great, man. How I'm out there on the road, killing it, man. Yes, sir. Dog, man. I man, I've been listening to your shit. I mean, you already know, man. I'm a huge fan of your shit, man. You like one of the illest young motherfuckers. See, I, I thank you, man. I gotta try to stop cussing, man. Is that a, is that still a thing, man? I I forgot to ask you that too. What that we could. What what's the deal on that? I mean, we can you cuss. Know. I cuss like a motherfucker. You know, I can't hold it, but you know they be Don't saying. Don't even worry about it. I mean, I know, but they be saying on YouTube and shit, you can't cuss in like the first whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, but I already you gotta fucked like it up. check the ratings and I shit already like fucked that. It up, yeah. man. But yeah, we got we got the homeboy Red Bell up in here, PG County representing man. Yes, sir, Doc. How tour been going? You on the road? You you playing tonight in Austin, man? I'm playing tonight in Austin. Um, bro, we just came from Dallas. That was crazy. That yeah, was Dallas. like a, that was like a highlight, low key. Really? You know what I mean, yeah, it was. Um, Dallas got the hip hop heads, man. It's yeah. very it's very surprising, man. You'll be thinking like a lot. I always I don't know. I guess that's like a thing that people think in the South, motherfuckers don't be fucking with the hip hop. But they got to know, man. Outcast from out here, we had all type of motherfuckers like the real mm. shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, man, you 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 been out here killing it, man. The fucking got the new EP out, man. I seen the um, yes, sir. the four 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 freestyle is crazy. Man, and fire. then you got you on. We had you on um, STH on scaring the hoes. You killed that shit on Kingdom Hearts, man. I ain't, I ain't seen you since then, man. But um, yeah, man, you killed that shit. And and that was that was the crazy thing about that um, about that song. Because I remember when me and Peggy first started doing the album, mm. I was always telling them, like, man, we gotta get this motherfucker on here. We gotta get this, you know, trying to get a lot of features. Like, man, we ain't got to, you know, you know what Peggy is. Mm -hmm. But then he had told me he's like, man. Um, we're gonna get Red Bell. I'm like, man, all right, hell yeah, I fuck with Cuz. Yeah. And he's like, man, but the whole shit was like, man, I don't think if ever in hip hop it's been like three generations yeah. on one song. On you one get what song. I'm saying? It's like, yeah. I'm the OG, then we got Peggy, it's like the now, then we got Chew, it's like the future, man. So I'm so great, man. I'm so grateful for how that song came out. Just, just to even be around and be rapping with y'all motherfuckers still. You know what I'm saying? Bro, 100%. 100%. It, bro, it was like, yeah, I feel like it just worked out so like, like tough. Like, I remember mm -hmm. like, I saw him in New York and he played me all the beats. And mm -hmm. like as soon as he played that one, I heard it for like three seconds. Oh, so that's like, yep. how that so that's how that happened, bro. He played like he probably played like five, six, seven beats, and it was like a few of them I picked out. But as soon as I heard that one, like mm -hmm. as soon as them drums came in, I was like, "Yeah, give me that." Because that was that's the thing it. with um, yeah. when we was making that album. It was almost like I mean, of course, you know, Peggy took all the um, production duties and shit, mm -hmm. and um, but it was like we was more so like I I because I was picking all the beats same way like with you. He'd come through, mm -hmm. he'd play a shit ton of beats and shit, mm -hmm. and um. And then I go through. So I was playing like A and R in some sense. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because then if I ain't rap on it. Then and then because he had a lot of. If you know how Peggy beats is, is sometimes some shit be like, fuck. This almost like this beat whooping my ass. Because <laughs> it'd, it'd be some songs, man. If, it's, if we got a lot of songs, we did it. We recorded a lot for it, and yeah. it'd be like some songs. I'd be like, nah, I ain't hit that right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like Peggy, like I do a shit ton of verses and shit, and then he'll finish them up. So it was like I picked the beats, but he picked the songs. Because there was some songs on there. I like, damn, like, we ain't using this. Mm -hmm. He was like, nah, I don't you know. And then he used that shit. So so I ain't know that's how that worked out, man. And then you fucking produce yourself, which is fucking crazy. Like, yeah. um, you just way fucking wise beyond your years, man. man I don't really say you, that, man. man. Like, fucking um, learning to swim, man. That fucking, that's like, you already got a classic under your belt to me, man. Man, so, thank you, man. That's, you, that's really love, and man. And you were young, and so you got to, man, you got so much fucking room to grow. And the one thing that I really do like about you and shit is that you get influenced from all different types of other hip hop too. Yeah. You know, like a lot of, you know, like with the type of music we make and shit, uh -huh. people look at us like, I don't know, it's like we'll probably hate on like other 
You know what I realized, bro? It's like it's like I feel like all of the artists that like that like make that type of music that like is in that space or whatever, the actual music that they listen to is always the shit that they fans hate on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. They always the biggest fans of shit they fans hate on. Exactly. Same. I'm the same way. Like uh, with a lot of the music from back home, like the DMV rap and all that shit. Like like that that to me like that just scratches my brain mm-hmm. in a way that no conscious project can. It's just two different things. Like yeah, yeah. to Pin Butterfly, that's still my favorite album of all the time. But like, you know what I'm saying? That's not gonna scratch my brain in a way that some Zan Man shit will. You know <laughs> yeah, Zan Man. I Are you hip to Zan Man? Yeah, oh, that's man. I fucked with hard. Zan Man, dog. Uh, that's hard, man. We went to the same high school, man. Really? Yeah. Man, when he first when he first hit the scene, he he got the punchlines, man. Like shit. And that's what I like. I mean that punching rap is crazy. Just so you do you write? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean it's I guess I guess I try to like I try to not write sometimes and I don't be saying anything so I I, I write. For I sure. think it's a vibe. It's yeah. a vibe more so. Mm-hmm. I guess I got a song on my album that I didn't write, and um, it's probably like one of my most lyrical shits. So it'd be yeah. like it's but it's almost like catching lightning in the bottle when you do. That. It is. It is. You know? Yeah. It's like it's like sometimes it's like I, I might catch like a I might catch like an idea or whatever that like I might have. And I like gotta keep saying it in my head until I can write it down mm-hmm. in that sense. But I'm not gonna write a song start to finish without writing. So how old were you when you first started rapping? Twelve. Twelve? Yeah. yeah. So I was what 12. was the um aha moment where you was like, ah, oh, I can do this shit. Like I'm good at this shit. I know I can do this shit. I don't even know for real. Like I feel like I just like I was just like, well, this is mad fun, bro. Like I just gotta keep doing this. Like I, Cause at first I was making beats, right? So I started mm-hmm. I started making beats first, like when I was like eleven. Really, that's fucking dope. Yeah. So I just we I just got an FL studio on my um on my computer. I started making beats, and then I was like I would like rap other people's verses like over like random beats sometimes like in Audacity. It's the shit nobody uses anymore because everybody got Band Lab now. <laughs> um, but like yeah, the Band Lab shit is crazy. Yeah, right. I, I completely mi- I completely even missed the Band Lab thing. Like I'd be just being so 19. jealous, man. I swear, cause it was yeah. so when I was you know younger and shit. We had to go to the studio. Mm, like you mm. couldn't just get a fucking like an mm. MPC was like thousands of dollars yeah, and shit. Yeah. You couldn't just like even that. Like I bet you you fucking had a cracked Fruity Loops. <laughs> or, or you, <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Just even shit like that. I remember when Fruity Loops first came out. I was hating on Allegedly. it. Allegedly, I was hating on it. Like this is some bullshit, man. Because I didn't. I mean, but now like y'all freaked it. Like I guess yeah. when time progressed, because when it first came out, I was like, man, the drums ain't hitting like that. Them shit mm-hmm. sounds like it sounds like a fucking computer. You know what mm, I'm saying? Mm. But now it be shit motherfuckers is making when fucking Fruity Loops and Band Lab and all that. Mm. Even now, what's the new shit? Koala? What is it called? Koala. That's the app on the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just got that the other day. I made like a, I made like a, maybe like a couple beats on there. <laughs> yeah. So even that though, because even, I mean, just like listening to, um, learn this one, like a song like, um, what is it, Shoulder? Mm-hmm. Like even that, like just to be able to make something like that at your age, I'm like, Fuck, man. Like, that's man, something man, I couldn't man. make to. I'm like fucking late 20s or some shit like that. So yeah. I can't imagine where you're about to take this shit, man. Like, so, man, I got nothing but fucking utmost respect for you. Thank nothing you, but man. Blessings for you, man. Thank you. And man. even with that, man, it's like, um, you just got so many different styles. It ain't like you really like in one lane. Cause you, yeah. And, and I always say this, like, cause, you know, which, which is dumb too, because, um, when I think about all the all the artists that I was listening to when I was coming up, or somebody like a Mob Deep, the motherfuckers yeah. made Shook ones. They was like eighteen, nineteen. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Nas made Illmatic, Illmatic eighteen. Yeah. So yeah. I always be looking at it like, man, you know, when you're younger and shit, it's like we watching a lot of these motherfuckers learn in real time. Mm-hmm. But nah, man, some of that these motherfuckers has got it. It's almost like um. When we was kids, everybody thought they was gonna go to the NBA and shit. Right. Everybody hooped. Right. Everybody hooped. With y'all generations, like everybody fucking make music and right. everybody raps, which yeah. is fucking dope. Which I would think it would make the competition level a little higher and shit. But yeah, I mean, nah, yeah, no. Nah. I don't even like that. Because most of it is like just some shit. Because <laughs> you know everybody respect each other's lanes in that sense. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Before it was almost like if you ain't doing it like this, then you suck. If you yeah. ain't like this, oh, like. Yeah, bro, it's like the. Bro, the internet, bro. It's there's there's so many there's like so many different niches. It's a new niche that blow up blows up every like every like 
six months, three months. Mm -hmm. Like they bringing back like jerk music now. Like the oh music. yeah, I seen that. Yeah, you oh you seen that like on which TikTok fun, and shit. Man, like, which is fun. I mean, yeah, like, I think um, that's sick. I think it's fire. I mean, that's like the first thing. Because I we always talk shit how y'all don't go outside and shit. Everybody <laughs> just stuck in their crib at the computer. Like the motherfuckers was risking their life going to house parties and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing so just to see kids make music to get back to dancing and shit. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fucking a, a big deal. That's and and it's something that's really missing in hip hop. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, between the, the the jerk shit, the Jersey Club. Oh yeah, that shit is fire. The Renaissance, cause that's all. Like that's like, I mean, I don't know how long Jersey Club's been around, like exactly, but at least like, the jerk shit, like that was like when I was like five, six. That was like the first thing mm -hmm. that like people were. Obsessed oh yeah, with. I mean, just even um, you know what I'm Baltimore club music. Yeah, like motherfuckers uh -huh. doing a Wu Tang and shit and all that. Watch yeah. out for the big girl and all that yeah. shit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like being from Detroit, you know, we had our, you know, we got our techno shit and our fucking ghetto tech and all that shit. So that's yeah. what um, like um, like even me, like when we used to go out to to parties and shit, we didn't hear fucking rap songs and shit. It was always mm. that club shit. You know what I'm mm. saying? So that's why I always Damn, always put that shit to like even a lot of people, um the one song we got on on um STH, the fucking um the um fuck, what's the name of the Run the Jewels. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of motherfuckers don't even know. Like they just hear the LL Cool J flip and all that shit mm -hmm. on there. But that's actually come from a DJ so I hope I ain't fucking Sample snitching, which I hate, man. Don't you hate that shit? Now? I hate it. <laughs> Dog, like you I can go on YouTube and just watch whole fucking videos of motherfuckers uh, telling you where you got the samples it's from and quick, all that shit. Quick with it, they break down. The, they they show the shit stretch out and get longer and yeah. pitch up and pitch down, and remaking the beats and all <laughs> like, that shit. Yeah, which bro, is, like, it, <laughs> it is up, dope in some sense, but it's almost like y'all snitching. Yeah, I you mean, know, to me, it just like ruins like the, it just ruins like the mystery a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like, that's what I hate, man. So. Yeah. So coming up, man, who was who was like some of the motherfuckers you was influenced by and shit? Um, Tyler, that's like probably number one. Like Tyler, Kendrick, um, Cole, and shit. And then also like the <clears throat> all the people, all of the people that were kind of on like the heavier uh, rap side of SoundCloud in like twenty like fourteen to like sixteen. So. Somebody like the Bones, Chris Travis mm. type shit. I was super team into that. Team session, in all that shit. Team, yeah, super into that in middle school. Mm -hmm. Extremely into that. So it was like the way that my sound kind of came about was just like I was really into like these chord progressions and everything. But then I was also really into like how like just that this head banging like shit that they were dropping. And so my whole thing, my right. whole essence is just like putting them together. That's crazy, man. I, I remember I was... um. When Tyler and them first came out, I was um I was actually living with Tony Yayo at the time. And you know, just that whole, you know, G unit, all that shit. But I remember, man, they just didn't understand that shit. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I remember showing that shit to them, like that's when Lil B was cracking off mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all that shit. I'm like, man, this that's is what line. this is what this shit about to turn to. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Like I knew it and I was showing them motherfuckers that and they was like, they just did not get that yeah. shit. But I mean they obviously they shouldn't get that shit. It's a lot mm -hmm. of Young shit that come up to me, and I'll be like, man, I just. You don't get that shit. I don't get that shit. But yeah. then it'd be like years later when the motherfuckers are like, man, you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah. I see what it is. Like some, some just a click. Yeah, and it clicks. Yeah. Like, but when I first heard Earl, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to get the fuck out of here. I'm like, no, <laughs> fuck. Like, yeah, these motherfucking young niggas is coming. <laughs> to me, well, you know, we came up with um, the title was Scaring the Hoes. We, we actually came up with from that last Earl album. Oh, for real? Yeah, because we was listening to that shit, and then Peggy, for some reason, he's like, man, he got tired of scaring the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> and it just clicked in my head, like, oh, shit, that's the name of the album. Bro, it's so funny, too, that, like, I'm the only future on there, because, like, bro, it's like a it's a long-ass joke on Twitter over the past few years that I had to beat the scaring the hoes allegations, mm -hmm. like, with my music and shit. But so no, it's like, it's like, it actually works, like, perfectly. I think, um, see, that's the one thing, too, I feel like uh, I really do like about you, too, is it don't really seem like... You let the um, cause that that's what could end up happening where you letting social media starting to a and your projects. Mm, Which yeah. I'm not saying don't take constructive criticism, cause mm. even I do. I read comments sometimes and certain shit, but mm. it's like if certain motherfucker, if you ain't study what I study to know what I'm getting influenced by and what I'm mm. pulling from, it, so you couldn't even understand it anyway if you tried. You know oh, yeah, what I'm saying? 100%. So yeah. I would just say, just man, at the end of the day, make what you want to make. Mm. You know, and everything else. Uh, cause I feel like that's keeping the purity in it. Once 100%. you start, once you start trying to. Which which I remember because I remember even Fifty was telling me some shit like that. Like if you just want to make some shit to listen to in your basement, then mm. just make some shit to listen to in your basement. Yeah. But this shit is called the music business for a reason, uh. you know. So, but at the end of the day, man, it's like 
hip hop is just, it's so many lanes. It's like it's so grown so much just just from social media. Mm-hmm. Like me, I, I feel like because I if, if for a long time I was trying to make music that I thought people would like, but shit didn't take off of me until I was just making shit that I liked. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, I feel yeah. like it just make me. You can sleep better at night. You know what I'm 100%. saying? One hundred percent. Me not. Nah, yeah. Me too. Like I was. I I had went through trying to do a a bunch of different like. I don't know, like, I guess, like, musical identities or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I I had, I don't know, I just tried a bunch of different stuff that I thought was going to work because, like, I thought it should. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) And then I I was just like, I kind of just gave up on that idea. I was like, I'm going to try and, like, really take this, like, more serious, like, really just, like, make what feels, like, the best to me. I'm going to call myself Ray Vale. Yeah, fine. So even even now, so, so who you listening to now? What you fucking with now? Now, um... Um, uh, this kid Lilo. I think he's actually from Detroit. Really? Um, yeah. I don't know. You gotta put me on. I got you. Yeah, this kid Lilo. I'm 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 really into his music. Uh, Kenny Mason. A lot of Kenny Mason. Um, a lot of my homie Breakins. Uh, a lot of Dochi. Uh, Mona Leo. That's what's up. It's all um, over the place. Yeah, one hundred percent. Oh, Mike too. Yeah, Mike is the shit. Mike man. is. Yeah, I got Mike nice. on a new album. Oh, Mike like, is like man. He's. I it's almost like poetry with that motherfucker. Like Bro, some of that is. shit, it don't even need beats. I could just listen to that motherfucker just just rap. You know it's what I'm saying? It's so intricate and like it's so beautiful. Like we we toured with him like uh, mm-hmm. last year with, with Freddie, and it's just like it's like you already hear the poetry, but yeah. especially seeing it live, like you just feel it on a whole different spiritual level. Like you just ascend. He does you so much with four like, bars. So much. Like in four it's, bars, there's a lot of motherfucking sixteens, man. And then, yeah. it, then it's so the way he do it, so nonchalant. He just, it's like exactly. he, he don't gotta overperform yeah. it because he's saying so much. It's, like it's just like here, it's just like here. It's like if you, you know ain't paying saying? attention, you are gonna miss you that shit. Miss it. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. but but then when you sit back and you just read the shit, you be like, oh, this motherfucker yeah. crazy, man. Yeah. Like so, but yeah, right. shouts out to uh, shouts out to Mike, man. That whole navy blue, you know that whole <laughs> shit, man, with Earl and on it, man. Uh-huh. That shit just. Beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful. man, to see the, the, the young motherfuckers think. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's really what it's about. That's what I like your shit so much, because, cause, I mean, you know, it's got a lot of motherfuckers. I, and I don't, you know, I don't talk down. I, I mean, I know I was talking shit saying all drill rappers sound like Batman. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's funny but shit. I still understand it. You get what I'm saying? I, I yeah. understand it, and, and I like uh, it. I like the drill. I like the Batman niggas. I fuck with that <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Them niggas is villains, man. Little I demons out shit, here, bro. man. I like the I like the homegirl that just came out. Um, Scarlet. Scarlet. <laughs> bro, the homies just put me on to her song like the other day we were in Portland because they were talking about some... Uh, I'm from New York. Fuck, I look like telling a nigga good morning. And mm-hmm. I was like, bro, I got to look that up right now, yeah. bro. That's, uh, that already sounds crazy, bro. I just even just like the range. Like, even because, you know, with the female rap, like yeah. all of them, you know, on they pretty shit and mm-hmm. on they freaky shit or whatever the fuck and that. Mm-hmm. So you need the, you know what I'm saying? It got to be, it got to be different motherfuckers. That's yeah. one thing when I grew up, it was almost like, um, oh, he's talking about when I grew up. I'm fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was all about being original. It uh-huh. was originality. So everybody you couldn't everybody was different. Yeah. And I think that's what probably um just being from Detroit too. Mm. Just being in the middle. So like if you grew up in LA, so you probably going to get more West Coast shit. Or grew up on the East Coast, New York, you're going to get all the new. So that's just like your home based shit. So you're going to hear that shit more. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So with us just being in the middle, we were just getting everything, the south, everything. Mm. So it was just whoever you liked. You just a fan of that shit. Mm. It didn't want about where the motherfucker was from. Yeah. So I just like to see the variety. I would say for the most part, man. I won't have a hard ass bitch. I want to hear some pretty ass bitch shit too. I want to yeah. hear a bitch be on some freaky shit. I want to hear a little Scarlet is fire. I love that Duh, shit, bro. She I fire. love that I'm shit. I'm terrified of her, man. <laughs> She's so man, New York. I'm terrified too. of her. I know she'll whip my ass. Yeah. I ain't got nothing for her. You fuck with uh, Lola Brooke? I don't know. She mm-hmm. She's from New York too. She mm-hmm. got that same vibe, like hella New York, like real, like, like. Nigga, fuck you. New like York. The, even the homegirl from um, Griselda, um, Armani. Armani, yeah, 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 yeah. she fire too. So yeah, I like the variety because I even, I even like Ice Spice. Mm-hmm. I definitely see um, Ice Spice just definitely could hold her place. You know what I'm saying? I can see her yeah, being 100%. around for a long time, man. Hundred percent. So that's the whole shit is about longevity too, man. Because mm-hmm. some shit you hear be like, oh, it's gonna be some fly by night shit. This shit ain't gonna be rocking in five years. Mm-hmm. But even that, I heard um, an artist was talking about like how um, like how the music game has changed so much, and that is all about. It's strength in numbers in some sense. Like, he ain't about to take all day trying to create one classic album when he can put out five of them 
And that one time where like a motherfucker might spend two years on a project, he like, fuck that, I'm gonna put out because it's strength and numbers in a sense where all mm-hmm. this streaming and shit. And you're gonna make yeah. more money doing it like that. Algorithm, all that dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna make more money doing it like that instead of taking all this time to get the classic album. But then my whole thought process is like, if you're doing it like that, I mean you're only gonna make that money for now. Yeah, exactly. Like, you no, feed the algorithm until the algorithm dies and you gotta feed it again. Yeah, no one's about to listen to that. You know that 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 half crafted microwave ass music. Yeah, ten years from now, like you yeah. know, you are gonna make some shit that's gonna be, you know, that's gonna te- that stand the test of time. It's almost like a motherfucker, like if you just put it in hustling terms, like that's like motherfuckers you just say a oh, Reggie weed. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And you thought in, in 2000, <laughs> you about to still be it. selling Reggies right yeah. now? Like no, <laughs> it's the fire packs is out here right now, man. You're not about to be able to sell no fucking Reggies right now. That shit is over with, man. So goddamn it, man. <coughs> so um so how's touring been going man it's oh yeah no nah, it's it's been it's been great bro it's been great bro like like i don't know it's just like i i try to like wrap my head around like what's like 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 this shit's really getting serious mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying no like, it's been like serious every, what you talking about no yeah it's but like serious. also like yeah but like also like it's always like a new like height like mm-hmm. every time you yeah. know what i'm saying or it's like a it's like a little thing that like the crowd sings in this show that they didn't sing in that one. And it's like, whoa. Like, no, you're watching that, it grow. Yeah, yeah, you're watching it grow in real yeah, time. That I'm watching it grow in shit. real time. Like, I'm like, I'm talking about like, like the project I put out, like almost at the tours, the beginning of the tour, like, like now people are starting to sing that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, like, whereas like a lot of the time, like a lot of the music, like when I first started performing, it was, uh, it was two, two summers ago, 2021. And people didn't really know the words, like even at my own show, like people didn't really know the words of music that was I had already been out for a year plus. Mm-hmm. And now it's like I put the song out, and like a month later they know it. Yeah, exactly. You know? that's how that should be. Yeah, and it, it's it, nice. it happens way quicker than what it used to. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the joy of fucking social media and just mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Fucking Reddit and all yeah. that shit. Really, yeah. that's what it yeah. is too. I remember because we had you at um, Bruiser Thanksgiving and mm. you fucking killed that shit. Man, thank and you. And I, I could tell like it was, it was probably like a lot of people that really wasn't up on it like that. But mm-hmm. you gained fans that night. That's oh, what, yeah. I really um, got a lot of respect for him from that. I'm like, man, look at him. He fucking selling it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, I really, I and, and I actually looked back at that show for a while as like one of my favorite performances on my end. Mm-hmm. Was, no, you killed that shit. I was really shit. comfortable with it. No, you killed that shit, man. <clears throat> So yeah, we're gonna hop in some of these um ex Danny's and shit, man. Nah. Uh I will say though, man, touring, if I can give you any advice about it, man, because touring for me was stressful, but I was making that shit stressful for myself. I mean, it's thank God you don't do shit. I was doing shit and that shit didn't do nothing but make it harder. Mm. But I will say, man, I've been everywhere but been nowhere. So mm. you know, you get your days off and shit, do shit, man. Mm. That's one thing. See the shit, going to museums or just doing shit. Like now, like I can't, I'm excited to get back on the road with Peggy and shit. Cause I'm gonna mm. be doing shit now. Yeah. I ain't used to do shit. I used to be so fucking hungover, mm. just laid up in my fucking hotel room and shit. Then I gotta get back drunk again to fucking do the show. And just before mm. I know it, I'm in this endless loop of getting fucked up and mm. didn't wanna do shit, not seeing shit. So I will say, man, take advantage of fucking going to these places, man, and seeing shit. Right, absolutely. Right. That is the best shit you can possibly do. Cause then it's like you're on a mini vacation while you working. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's like, like, it's really it's really crazy like being able to like that's another thing i'm just, like wrapping my head around too is just like being able to see like so many different parts of like the world or whatever in such a quick amount of time mm-hmm. being able to see like it's also just cool too like seeing my family and shit i haven't seen like around the oh, yeah. country or whatever dope. Like, that is the dope you know see because that's like, my whole shit man i was always fucking just going everywhere but never seeing nothing man and i'd be on the road and just wanting to be home Mm-hmm. And then when mm-hmm. I get home, I don't even be like, fuck. Be <laughs> it's almost like you got PTSD or yeah. something. Like, I can't even be home normal now. Mm. So, all right, we'll hop into some of these Ask Danny's, man. Ask Danny! Hey, yo, you can hit us up at Danny at the Danny Brown Show.com. You know, send your motherfucking emails and all that at Danny at the Danny Brown Show.com. Also, oh, we ain't got no voicemails, man. Because y'all motherfuckers, they were spamming the voicemails, huh? Yeah, it got a little crazy. I think uh, we'll take a break from it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> having phone sex. Nigga, a, yeah, got a yeah. little wild. It got a little nasty, man. I remember last time Zolo was telling me, man, it got a little nasty. All right, we're gonna hop in. All right, ask Danny. First up, we got features. Yeah. What's up, Danny? I love the show and I listen to it every day. I first heard of you on a Childish Gambino song, Toxic. That shit blew my mind when I heard you. Since then, I've been a fan slash supporter. Anyway, my question is: There have been a time when you've been in the studio with someone and been disappointed or surprised by their music slash rapping ability. Thank you for making content and being you. Um, 
I feel like you trying to get me to diss somebody. This is uh, <laughs> they trying to get a clip. Yeah, right now. You, you trying to you trying to go they viral to with some shit like that. No, I don't think I ever. I think if anything, it probably been my motherfucking ass had <laughs> been that person. Like even I was talking about like working with Peggy. That's one thing about it, it is, and Peggy is probably um he's probably the most patient with working with me because I don't like I don't like going to the studio. That's mm. not my thing. Like when I was a kid. And I was trying to, because that's what I'm saying. We didn't have the Fruity Loops. We didn't have the Band Labs mm-hmm. and all that shit. So mm-hmm. you would have to go to the studio and you paying mm-hmm. for fucking studio time. Mm-hmm. So you have to come in prepared. Yeah. So Pressure. my whole shit was like, I'm, I'm practicing a song a week before I even get to my session doing mm-hmm. shit like that. So I can try to at least get it done as quick as possible so I can have some extra time and I might could knock some other shit out. So it's mm-hmm. never been me going to the studio playing around. And even mm-hmm. when other artists and shit, they'd be like, I hate when an artist used to tell me like, um, they want to do a song with me, but they don't want to. You know, they don't want to do the email thing. They want me to come to the studio. Mm-hmm. And then, because I like to sit, I actually like the writing process. Mm-hmm. I actually like sitting down because I might change some shit. Mm-hmm. I might, you know, want to, you know, I might yeah. write a verse three times mm-hmm. before, I'm, before I'm happy with the product. Mm-hmm. So my whole shit is like, give me some time so I can write my shit. Which some motherfuckers look at it like, man, you must be, you kind of whack if you can't just do it on the spot like right. that, you know, and shit like that. But I mean, I, you just meticulous though. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not, hey, I don't really like, I'm not really a fan in the studio either. Like, I'll, I'll do it obviously. And like, it's like, you know, sometimes I've gotten like a good product out of it. Like, uh, when I did like the, like the biggest one off Learn to Swim, PG Baby. Mm-hmm. Like I did that one in the studio. Fire. But that's like the best. That's like the that's like the best thing that's come out of me being in the studio like ever. Like most of the time, it's just like I'll make some shit, and it's just like I don't know if I don't feel a hundred percent about it or whatever. It's just like I'm wasting time. Like that's how I feel. Like you know what I'm saying. Whereas like when I'm at home making music, it's like I can I can just fuck around. I can just you know what I'm saying. I can just like it's, it feels like it's more room to just like yeah. experiment, do everything like that. I that I really like. Like Cause it's want, it's, it's a lot of times where I listen to some old shit that I did, and I'd be like, fuck, I say this different. I, mm-hmm. I do this, you know, and I hate having that, uh, just that whole thought process. Mm-hmm. I hate yeah. feeling like that. Like, man, yeah. I wish I would have did this. I wish I had more right. time to do this. But I would say, um, I guess I can give you some type of answer. I mean, shit, man, Childish Gambino. I remember when I first did that, um, you know, people wasn't really fucking with um, Childish Gambino like that around that time. And um, Because I remember um, when he asked me to go on that tour, my manager at the time was like, you sure you want to do this? You know? But I'm mm. like, hell yeah, fuck that. I'm trying mm. to get on the road. Which was, I will say, that was like one of the worst tours I ever played. Oh, shit. They hated my guts every <laughs> Damn, night. really? Duh, I was getting booed off stage. What? I remember I was crying one night, crying crocodile what? tears like a little bitch sitting in some <laughs> diner. I was in some diner. We had some hoes with us and everything. Hey, I didn't want to deal with the bitches, man. I'm like, man, they hate me, man. This yeah. shit sucks. I'm really trash. That's so crazy. I'm, I feel like people don't boo on tours anymore either. You just got it luck. You just had it lucky, or man. Or I'm just really good. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing, too. But no, they was hating my ass, though, that whole entire tour. But when I look at it, man, our music was so different. Mm-hmm. Like, I was coming from a whole different, you know, perspective than what he was coming on. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I didn't, you know, I would say, but then, you know, when I got in the store, I'm like, oh, no, this nigga is dope. So I would say more than anything, I've, I've been impressed by people that I didn't really think they had it. You know, they wouldn't like uh-huh. that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, uh-huh. oh, he's just dope. But he's just an all-around talented motherfucker in that sense. I look at, I, I, and I be jealous of them motherfuckers too. I call them like art school kids. Like, this mm. motherfucker could really do anything. Mm. Why mm. you want to rap? <laughs> this is all I got. This is all I know how to do. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? Why you want to take, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I would say, but never been in the studio with somebody I was like, oh, this motherfucker trash. I have been. I'm just not about to tell you motherfuckers. <laughs> but I have been around somebody and I'd be like, oh, this motherfucker ain't really, he ain't really got it like that. Like, no. yeah. What about, have you ever been in that kind of situation? I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I, there's nothing that's coming in my head right now where I was like, "Damn, this nigga some shit." Like, <laughs> like, I feel like, like, I, like, like, I've only done sessions with people that, like, I feel like I already got like a good understanding of, like, because mm-hmm. I really haven't done like that many sessions with people. Like, I'm yeah. so pretty new, so it's like, like, I feel like I got like a good understanding of the artistry or whatever, and like they usually like, I guess, match my expectations. And I think I would get intimidated sometimes by being mm-hmm. in the studio. I remember like when I was in Australia and I did the um, work with the Avalanches. And I never really been in like a big ass, like ill ass studio like that where they got fucking, you know, all the food and shit and everything just all laid out for you mm-hmm. and some shit like that. And it would be like, oh, taken back a little bit. Like, oh, I'm used to recording fucking basements and yeah. shit like that. You know it's what I'm saying? Crazy. That's where I get my vibe from, you yeah. know? So just being in that whole element of being like that, and it's almost feel like it put more pressure on you to do good. Yeah, when it's all like beautiful and shit like yeah, that. It's yeah, it's like, man, fuck, I'm about to suck. <laughs> well, like, I will uh, say like when I when I uh 
that like when I was like wowed, like the last time I remember being like wowed, I was in the studio with Flume. Mm. And like that was just like just watching him like make music. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because he's on the whole electronic shit. I hadn't really seen that before. Yeah. So like, like like seeing how that came together with like all the like the synths and everything that mm-hmm. he had and like like watching him like like mash and blend shit or fuck around with something for like hella long and then just like completely change it. Like that like that blew my mind. Yeah. But you know. I think for me it was um when I worked with Q tip. Mm. And just being in the studio with him all the time, I learned so fucking much. And the one, cause I used to be on that um, like we say, catching lightning in the bottle type shit, where I would say I, I would write these verses, uh-huh. like I, I like I've spent all the time in the world on writing a verse, mm-hmm. but I want to try to get the verse down in one take. Yeah, you know. And then, yeah. but he taught me that post is everything. Mm. He was like, man, you only got you got all this time in the world to make it, and you only got one time to put it out. And once mm. you put it into the world, ain't no taking it back. Mm-hmm. So you might as well do as many fucking takes. Like he had literally had me sit in the studio rapping the same verse for like a whole entire day, and that'd be Damn. like. And to me, I'd be like, man, it's not gonna get no better than this. <laughs> like you know. Yeah. But now that I'm realizing, I'm like, yeah, it can. Because yeah. because the more you say it, the more you learn it. And it, uh-huh. one thing about me is like, um, I be wanting to capture the emotion more so than say the words right. Mm. Like you can feel what I'm saying. I ain't mm. got to say it right. But when you can mm. get both of those, I think when you look at somebody like a K Dot, like a Kendrick, yeah, that's what he got down pat. Like he 100%. he's saying everything super crispy, clear. You understand? Because there's so many songs. Like even phone fuckers get that. They don't understand what the fuck I be saying half the time. <laughs> I was pissed off, man. I was in fucking rehab, and the album came out, and I was reading some of the lyrics back, uh-huh. and they got fucking. I think it's Step a Pick. I'm one of them, but they this motherfucker got um. They say uncut with the cum sock. <laughs> I'm like the cum sock. <laughs> What the fuck y'all make? What the fuck y'all think I'm on? Like I know I be rapping freaky shit, but I'm not talking about no fucking cum socks, man. At forty something years old, man, I say top side. Yeah, that's and then it's uncut with the top side. My brain fried. Don't do drugs. Had two plugs. One just died. And then they talking about. I was saying. I was talking about. Um, De La Soul. <laughs> Look, cum sock or top side. <laughs> the first thing on fucking Reddit, Reddit man. Reddit, I'm not talking about no doesn't. fucking cum socks at 40 years old. Like, what is y'all wrong with y'all, man? I say top side, <laughs> which top side mean the dope that's uncut. That's why I said my brain fry don't do. Had two plugs, one just died. I'm not talking about they really no thought fucking daylight. I'm not talking crazy. about daylight soul. I'm talking about the plug that I buy drug. Whatever, man. Y'all, y'all gotta stop. Even y'all, man. The motherfuckers that um. Y'all rush like to, to get it up on genius first. Like uh-huh. I can't imagine the type of shit y'all go through in y'all life, man. Y'all definitely Discord mods. <laughs> y'all definitely on Reddit all day to be the motherfucker that be like, soon as the song come out, like I'm about to write these lyrics out so I can get my post up and do all that shit, man. I ain't saying y'all weird, but y'all ain't normal. Man, they weird. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they then look what you did bro. to me. You got motherfuckers think I'm rapping about cum socks, man. I was in I was mad that day. Y'all know I was going through fucking withdrawals. Trying to get my life together. I say top side, man. Look at that. It's a serious, it's a serious ass question for them, bro. Yeah, man. Is Danny Brown saying cum sock or top side? I'm Full not caps. Saying, I'm not saying fucking cum sock, <laughs> man. And Peggy told me too, man. He kept being on me, like, man, why don't you send me the fucking lyrics, man? So these white motherfuckers won't be fucking up your lyrics. <laughs> that ass though. And I sent them the lyrics, man. I don't know what fucking happened, man. I sent them the fucking lyrics, man. All right. Next up we got uh dropping a single. Hey yeah. man. We know when the rival band is going to release their single and they're always talking that shit, but they kind of trash, though. My question is, what is the bigger diss, dropping a single right before or right after they do? Thanks for the laugh and wisdom. Keep them high and tight. Huh. That's some weird shit. Y'all motherfuckers having rock band battles and shit? <laughs> rock beef. <laughs> <laughs> having rock band battles and shit? Um, I, w- I would say, um, I mean, why y'all want to step on each other's toes at the end of the day, man? I don't think... um. That really matters. It's not like, because I'm pretty sure they got their own fan base. Y'all got y'all own fan base. So motherfuckers going to like what they're going to like. Motherfuckers going to pick a side. I feel like so after, though, look, he. After? Yeah, of course. Yeah. After <laughs> is going to be the thing, because you want to see what they come with first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, But I would say, man, at the end of the day, man, don't even think about that kind of shit, man. Try to just make the best possible product you can. That's the only way you can really shit on them, because mm. you rushing some shit just to make after they made some shit. Yeah. And it can't be the possible best. You can't be putting your best foot forward doing some shit like that. I mean, I don't know, man. I'm not with. I mean, I, I, I mean, far as I mean, we in hip hop, so you gonna always have your fucking look. I done threw my shots before, motherfuckers done threw their shots. So, mm-hmm. but I, I'm just not in that. Um, 
this rap shit. Like, I just feel like, man, shit has changed. Like, back in the day, man, it was like real. Like, I love battle rap. Like, if you yeah, want to fucking. Yeah, battle rap is fine. Yeah, hell yeah. If you want to diss somebody, then be a battle rapper, man, yeah. at the end of the day. But so I guess. It's a real music, sport. That shit is crazy. They treat it like that. Have you seen last week hard. a bitch whipped her titties out? It was Nigga, amazing. <laughs> it was, she, had some, she had some milkers, too. Bro, bro. <laughs> but the bitch was talking shit about her body. Hey, she, was, she, said, she, was, she was she was roasting her, like going off, like bitch, you been on, you, you you built funny or some shit. She was saying some shit, then she just whipped them, she whipped the jugs out. I'm like, oh shit, she won. I ain't even want to hear no more rap shit after that, man. Once the titties came out, it's over. Or even at one time, I remember one battle when the um two bitches was the bitches, man, they way more vicious than the men. Like the Jeez. men, we always just talking about shooting each other and shit like that. Them bitches get real personal and shit. One time, one of the bitches pulled another picture of the bitch out sucking dick. Bro, what? She's like, what? You talking shit? I got a picture of you sucking dick. <laughs> and whipped the picture out. You won. What else can you say after that? Bro, I be seeing dumb ass clips about a rap on TikTok, bro. Like, they just be doing dumb ass shit. I like love that, it, though, bro. man. It's but, nah, it's hilarious, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad that they really making money with doing it now. Like, mm. it's a lot of them, a lot more successful than some rappers and shit with making money like that. Because, I mean, what they're doing is really hard, man. I can't imagine fucking having to memorize a fucking three minute rap. Yeah. And I just love it, man. It's it's fucking who don't want to see um, two black men insult each other in rhythmic form <laughs> <laughs> three minutes straight? Like you get what I'm saying, bro? And they crazy at improvising too. Like yeah, man, them clips and shit where they be like. And then it's so many different leagues and shit. I've actually yeah. the fire shit. I mean, I don't be knowing what they saying, but I've seen the um, Filipinos got their own league going right now. Oh sure, them motherfuckers be. I don't know what they be saying, but they be. I, I see the emotion. That's hard. I see the I see the look in their eyes. You ever so. seen that clip of that white dude battling that black dude, and he's like, "I'm gonna say the n word in this battle, my nigga," and the hit me. Yeah, and he's like, him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't be saying my nigga in no battles. That was like shit. Since back in the, I'm styling on you since yeah. the styling on you days. You know, but all right. But yeah, man. I guess um y'all doing rock band beats, man. Video game reviews. Just go to the arcade, and they actually have a game called Rock Band. I, mean, oh, yeah. I know you guys know, and and whoever whoever get the high score on that man, that's that's, who that's how you gonna settle. Yeah, it. that's how y'all settle that <laughs> shit, man. I used to I used to suck at rock band. I was good on the mic, obviously, but the drums, man, it was dr- hard, man. It's nothing. It's nothing more depressing, man, than than, than busting in on somebody, man, and they playing rock band by themselves, <laughs> and you can't hear the music. They got the headphones and they just beating on the drums like. Phew. Really trying to get the score and shit. Hey, that shit was like that. And the Guitar Hero, bro. Yeah. Guitar Hero was like that. Yeah, my DJ Skyler, his ass, um, Skywalker ass. He, um, I remember we was in fucking, always in Australia. We was in Australia somewhere because they got a lot of cool arcades out there. Mm-hmm. And this motherfucker, he was playing rock band for hours. I mean, um, Guitar Hero for hours. This motherfucker really was good at that shit. I'm like, God rock damn. Rock band shit gets serious. But he really knew how to play guitar. So I guess that would, you know, mm-hmm. that would put a lot. You, mm-hmm. you ever, oh, fuck that shit. They had the DJ Hero and shit. That shit sucked. I remember that. But the coolest shit was I remember back when they had the um the um MTV was it MTV generator like on PlayStation motherfuckers could make beats on that shit and oh, the motherfuckers yeah. from London really took that shit serious and started making like grime music and shit they really started making shit oh, out that sure. shit like really fire shit man so that's hard shots out to that shit I mean I guess that was the first beginning of like Fruity Loops and Band Lab and all that shit was them making fucking like beat making video games and shit like that what year was that this was it was definitely I was still in high school. So it was definitely like late nineties or some oh, shit like shit. that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your ass wasn't born yet. Yeah, what? hell not. Fuck. <laughs> God damn, man. You're so fucking young. <laughs> That's so great, man. All right. Next up, we got vintage clothing. Hi, Danny. First of all, I want to say congratulations on going to rehab and having a positive outlook on your new journey. I know you mentioned liking and wearing vintage clothes. Look, I got this right here. Shouts out to Detroit Vipers, man. I'm heavy in the fashion and been wearing and selling vintage for years now. What is your favorite venom vintage item in your closet? Thanks, Danny from Andy, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, favorite um vintage mm-hmm. item. I mean, I was I would say man, my um eighty five Jordans, but I don't know if that count mm. as vintage. I mean, yeah, of course it's a vintage, yeah, but I guess man. you were saying clothes. But I would say if I'm gonna say anything, my favorite because I mean it was just so just to find a fucking pair of nineteen eighty five Jordans. Now it's probably way easier now. Then I was I like I even hated when they put out the fucking lost and founds them shits they they had to make a fake pair of fucking vintage which they still look cool mm. but I mean I got you got to have respect man you got to get you a pair of classic. vibes classic you man. know how much how much they want for them oh fourteen hundred see that ain't even that bad man but I will Shit. say man um those shoes because a lot of you can find like a lot of um I think these are the kids ones though oh that's why yeah the real ones are crazy oh yeah. 
I can't remember how much I paid, but it was some thousands. Um, I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> I mean, that's why I got it out the way with, you know? Mm-hmm. But, um, oh, 15000 Damn! But that's a, a clean-ass pair, though. Shit, 15000 clean? Shit. <laughs> I'm but saying. That shit's 76 on the on the right. 76000 is crazy. Oh, that's shit. That's a nice crib. Like a down payment for like a... 76000 you know like... Well, I got a pair of M&M, so I can't talk. To, but I got those for free. I definitely didn't pay for them shits. Uh, but um, se- if you if you if you spending seventy six thousand on a pair of shoes, you got Bitcoin. Oh okay. yeah, <laughs> that's what that Slaves. is. How much they want? Oh, forty five thousand. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Y'all different. <laughs> Y'all different I'm bro. saying because I wore my shit. Right, boy, I can't get forty five thousand for mine. I guess I guess if those forty five, I sell mine for a hot ten piece. I Somebody want them? Hit me up. You know, you can send your emails at Danny at the Danny Brown Show dot com. <laughs> you know, you got them. I wore them in a Trotsky exhibition cover, so that that's another piece. You know what I'm saying? So you can get that forty five, bro. Mm-hmm. That's like where I can't even like I can, I, I there's no amount of money I can imagine having to where I would not see that and throw up. Yeah, forty five thousand. That's a plus terms. five thousand estimated tax. Uh, just in taxes. What? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. You ain't got no bitches doing it. it. <laughs> Something about that just said you ain't got no bitches, man. For real. You, you, you shouldn't waste, need all that. Yeah, hey, you're just doing you too much, man. That. You're doing too much, man. Is it? I mean, I would say, man, don't waste your money on clothes, man. That's dumb. Because yeah. you buy all that shit, man. That's one thing about me, man. I I, I, I got into that whole shit. I want to have an ill shoe collection and doing all that shit. And you buy all these shoes. I had like a whole fucking, about a room about the size of this. And it's just filled with shoes and shit. And you know what sucks? Mm. When you move. Mm. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, I got to pack all these <laughs> shoes up and do all this and do all that. And then sometimes, well, you'll be like, um, you'll get an outfit or something or you want to wear some shit and you'll be like, man, I got these, oh, I'm going to wear them with these shoes. Mm. And then now you're like, fuck, where they at? You know you got them. <laughs> and then now you're looking through all the bins and shit. You look at yeah. them before you know you done towed the whole room up yeah. looking for this one pair of shoes. Now you got to put everything back all nice and night and shit. You don't nice. even find it. But yeah, man. No, you don't even find it. <laughs> you even find Sometimes it. you just be like, fuck it, man. I'm going to just go with these, man. Just grab what you can get to, you know? So yeah, yeah fuck that shit, man. I would say, man, I, 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 and what's now? Like even just me moving to tech, I had gave away all my shoes. I gave away a lot of clothes and shit before I moved here. And just since I've been here for the past few years, now I got too much shit now. Mm. So it's almost like, man, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. I would say, man, don't, don't waste all your money on that shit, man. It's stupid. All right, next up we got European Tour. Hi, Danny. I just wanted to ask if you plan to scare the hoes in Europe. Anyways, love the show and your music. Take care. Yeah, man, we're coming to scare the hoes in Europe. What you talking about? I love I love y'all motherfuckers out there, man. You you, you tour Europe before, haven't you? Never. Oh, you ain't been out there yet? Never. Ah, oh, they going to love your ass. Yeah. I will say, up. man, one thing, um, you know, performing in the States is always fun because this is where we're from and it's just way more comfortable because mm-hmm. I will say, man... Um, just the hotel rooms is different. Mm. <laughs> it's a little different out there. And, man, they don't, I don't know, man. Something with them and they, they ain't really, man, they air conditioning and heat ratio is a little different out there, man. Them motherfuckers is, that's why they drink tea all the goddamn time, man. <laughs> Them motherfuckers always call. They got old school shit, man. They got real, like, furnaces and shit oh, like that. Shit. They don't be having, like, central air <laughs> shit like that in certain places, man. I guess that's just me. I'm not mm-hmm. living in no fucking baller ass suites and shit like mm-hmm. that. So it's just, it's it's a different level of, uh, um, comfortability i would say but the shows make up for it like i, I heard the crowds are crazy that's what i'm saying the shows just yeah. totally make up for it it's just fucking a fucking ball you have a fucking ball every night and just i don't know man i, I do i was in london last summer i think not too long ago mm. and i've had a great time man i love it only thing the food man oh yeah i'm already known when we out of london i'm looking for straight caribbean food only and indian food. oh yeah you might you might get your fix then yeah see me i'm not a fan of curry what? Yeah, as soon as I smell it, it's like, ugh. Damn, man. Ah, I hate fucking curry, man. Damn. The other day, I got some fucking, um, not too long ago, I got some fucking butter chicken. Uh, I like butter chicken, though. What, long- is, what does it smell like to you? Like feet. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? I don't know, man, but I don't like curry, man. I do like, I like Jamaican food. Mm-hmm. I like my jerk chicken and my beef patties and shit like yeah. that. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? But rotis and all that shit, I like that shit. Yeah. But I don't, I like, you know what I'm saying? Gyros. I know you don't put to say it like that, but in Euros. Detroit, that's how we say it. We say gyros. I Is like it my, Euro? Or yeah, it's Euros. Euro. But I like my gyros and shit like that, man. But 
for the most part, I when I'm over there, man, I just eat Nando's. Oh shit! Don't tell y'all got it's a Nando's in DC. I think yeah, Nando's in DC. We you don't fuck with the Nando's? No, man, I ain't gonna lie. I hate Why, that shit, bro? The last time I had Nando's, bro, it was, it was. In the toilet thirty minutes after, <laughs> you were getting the shit too hot. That's what it no, is. No, <laughs> that, that was the thing too, because I had already had that type of experience with it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm gonna get the chill. I'm gonna get the chill joint. Like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just like it's gonna get the, like the mild or the medium or whatever spice. And it going down, it wasn't bad. Oh shit! And then thirty minutes later, it was out. They got one in Chicago, and then it was out again. I'd be going to the one in Chicago, and oh, what they say it's about to be one in Dallas. I don't. I don't really think a Nando's would be too successful in, in Texas, man. You know what they said? Why not? Texas, the food is too fire here, man. Mm. Too much See, shit, man, to eat right out here. here. But I guess I mean probably would. Look, Dallas, they said Texas. Nando's repair shop. They don't got no damn Nando's out here. Oh, so there's Illinois, Maryland. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. Virginia. Yeah, man. I love me some Nando's, man. Shouts out to Nando. But you know what? I get. I don't even eat the chicken though. Oh, I, eat, yeah. I mean, if they because all the places I eat the liver. Oh. I'm disgusted, man. <laughs> oh. Disgusted. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. That's how you do know, it, motherfucker. Bro, I love liver, man. Liver, chicken gizzards, all that shit, man. I like the fucking the hood delicacies. Yeah, no, nah, I feel that. I mean, I don't feel that, but I feel that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Get the livers with the fucking, with the roll, the Portuguese roll. Mm-hmm. I like their fries, too, man. But man, those got good sides, man. I just don't be going crazy with the sauces. That's what it was, man. Yeah. I feel like, man, because you can't get that shit too hot. You know what I'm saying? Nah, hell yeah. And that shit fuck you up. All right. A recipe for disaster. I'm getting hungry. Let me stop. <laughs> you ain't got no fire shit out here yet? Since you've been in Texas, you ain't been eating crazy? Oh, uh, no, bro. All right. So, like, this is the craziest thing. I have the craziest story for you. So, a year ago, it's not that crazy of a story. A year ago, on Twitter, I saw this hot pem- hot lemon pepper catfish. Oh, shit. What Dallas. you talking about? That's the pack. Yeah, in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Right? It was called Anti-Reams. I saw it. We had just... We had just passed Dallas on like the tour that we were on or whatever. So I saved the tweet. I was like, next time we in Dallas, we're going to get this. So we, I'm waiting for a, for a year. <laughs> we found that tweet. Put, we put up the tweet yesterday and mm-hmm. we got it. I ain't going to lie. That was like probably some of the best tour food oh, that yeah. we've had. That's like, the only that thing. Shit was so, like, it, was, it, was like, it was like spiced to perfection. You oh. know what I'm saying? The, they had some corn in there. The corn was stupid. I ain't going to lie. I was like, I thought the Texas toast was going to be more... More Texas, Texas toast. toast you like what? Yeah, is just normal. It's just normal. It was just toast. Like, but no, nah, the, uh, they really doing it. They they doing the food with the hot lemon pepper right here. I go to Pluckers. Right. Pluckers is the um, they got this wing bar out here. Just, Pluckers. Yeah, that sounds. And you can get them extra crispy, extra wet. Mm. Oh man, the motherfuckers. Shit. That shit. When when you open a box, that shit be glowing. Hey, let me tell you like, something. Fuck. Next time you in DC. Go to this place called America's Best Wings. America's Best Wings? America's okay. America's Best Wings. I love CDC. It don't even matter out there. I just get mambo sauce on everything. Mambo sauce thing. and everything? I'm yeah, you can't go wrong with that. I'm just mambo <laughs> saucing this shit up. Or even like when I'm in Maryland, I'm just fucking putting Old Bay on every fucking yeah. thing. You know? So it's just like, I'm just there for that. Yeah. I went to fucking Shake Shack. They had Old Bay in the motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on go to, here? <clears throat> go to America's Best Wings. Put the Old Bay on the fries. Mm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm already, on, I'm already knowing. Telling you, I don't put hot half lemon pepper. I don't put Old Bay on scrambled eggs, all that shit. Oh, nigga, you more Maryland than me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you eat more Maryland than me. That's crazy, dog. I even like that fucking. They had some. Um, I was in there. They had some Old Bay caramel caramel popcorn. Oh no, that's stupid. I've had that before. I've had Old Bay popcorn before. That's dumb. That shit's so fire. Yeah. That shit. Oh man. That yeah, shit that shit is man. crazy. All right. Next up, we got recovering from brain surgery. What up, Danny? Huge fan, little podcast. I'm 31 and had a seizure disorder for 16 years. I'm getting brain surgery with the hope of ending seizures. I'm a little freaked out about the recovery. Instead of what would Jesus do? I don't know what would DB do. Oh, what would Danny Brown do? What would you do during a week, during a week of recovery to keep yourself from going crazy? Shout out to scaring the hoes. Much love, Grant. Man, prayers up for you. You know, that got to be a hard situation to be going through, man. I guess for the most part, man. I would I would be trying to just do shit, man, just to keep my mind off the shit, man. If anything, you know, just fucking hang out, see all your loved ones, you know. Eat, go eat some nice meals, man. Do everything that you love to do, man, for the mm-hmm. most part, man, you know. Going mm-hmm. through brain surgery, that's a big deal. So I yeah. would say for the most part, what would I do? I would just be doing whatever the fuck I want to do in life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I enjoy yeah. for the most part. I wouldn't be sitting around sulking or being scared because I know me, my fucking anxiety would be going through the roof. So I would just get out. Be out in the streets. That's when you get out in the streets. Hang out with your peoples, man. Hang out with your friends. Do as much as you possibly can, man, you know, before you go up in there. But 
you know, prayers will definitely be up for you, Grant. You know, shouts out from the Danny Brown show and Wild Meats, man. I know that could, that's got to be a hard thing. You know what I'm saying? So, man, prayers up, man. That's prayers what I up, say, man. man. All right. Next up, we got working with ICP. You know about ICP? Same composite. Yeah. The Juggalos. Man, that's one of the best festivals I ever played in my life. Even though the last one didn't go too good. We already talked about that. We ain't going to go there. But, yeah, it's one of the best festivals I've, I've played in my life, man. Shouts out to yeah. ICP, everybody together. What made it so good? Because they just some wild motherfuckers, <laughs> man. They just don't, you know what I'm saying? They go mm. crazy. And, you know, the Juggalos, they got their own community. So they kind of hate commercial rap and shit. Mm. So they always fucking, you know, in, in ICP, they always want to have some fun shit. Like, the motherfuckers threw bottles at DMX. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, anybody that they consider to be commercial rappers is yeah. not a part of their community. They don't really welcome with open arms. I mean, they show me love because I'm from Detroit. Uh. But they still threw some Fagos at me. I just <laughs> love Fago. You know what I'm saying? Fago is in my bloodstream. So I didn't really take it too bad. So you came up. I got, I got mad at them because they wouldn't turn up as much as I thought they should. Mm -hmm. But, um... I love the show. Hope you're doing healthy. I wanted to ask. I was working with Insane Clown Posse in the past. Just chilling with them in general. Much love, peace. I would say, um, for the most part, man, like what we was talking about, like being in the studio with somebody and just seeing how they work and operate and shit. But for me, I was just more so impressed by the, how, how business savvy they was. Like they had their own mm -hmm. studio and shit, but they took me into a basement. These motherfuckers had like they own like merch, like sweatshop type shit. Like oh, they just had man. like so much fucking merch and they just constantly pumping it out and just making it all day like they was just all about the brand you know and just seeing it like that like this how you put it's like a factory you get what i'm saying like they got the studio shit they got the production shit they got their fucking merch shit like all in one in-house type shit and i was like yeah this is definitely like how i want to you know have That's some fine. shit yeah you get what i'm saying yeah. so and then you know where they got the festivals and shit and they got so many artists they put out and all that shit so Man, ICP, if, if there's anybody that I look up to with how their business model was run and how they got shit going, it, it's them. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to think that as so much people hate on them and all that shit. Man, they've been doing this shit way before I even thought about, I mean, say thought about being a rapper, but way before I thought I could be one. You know, so just being around them and just being able, they didn't even bought the music with them. To me, you know what I'm saying? They're just being around, just asking them questions and soaking up the game and just getting advice. and talking. Even though they gave me some terrible advice one time, you told me, man, you know... <laughs> He told me, man, like, it's only so many of us get the chance to do some shit like this, man. So, any bitch you can, fuck them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my dumb ass was like, damn, he kind of right. Jesus. You got to take advantage. You got to fuck these bitches out here. Horrible that was buddy. the dumbest shit I ever heard. <laughs> and then, and then I seen him, like, maybe, like, five years later, ten years later or some shit. He's like, man, I remember um, I told you that shit. That was kind of fucked up. I'm sorry, man. I'm like, <laughs> I ain't mean to tell you that shit, man. And I'm just like, motherfucker, you got, me here, you got me out here fucking my life up. <laughs> but shouts out to um, shouts out to Jay and Shaggy, man, and my homies, man. I love to play the gathering again. I don't know if they want me back, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I actually, uh, not too long ago, I actually was like, man, you know, just going back and I was just listening to some old ICP shit. And you know, I remember um, I was more of an Eshine fan, man. So I listened to a lot of Eshine when I was coming up. But I can definitely see the appeal and how it worked out for him, man. So... Shouts out to ICP and all the juggalos. Whoop, whoop. All right. We're going to hop into some white people shit. Uh -huh. I know my shit. nigga black as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. We're we'll going to get into some white people shit. All right. White people shit. Next up, New Year's. It's celebrating New Year's some white people shit. And are these any other white people shit holidays? I feel like New Year's Eve is the equivalent of clapping your hand when the plane lands. <laughs> The earth went around the sun. Let's no nah, man. What are you nah. talking about? Niggas love New Year. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's the one fucking day. I mean, for me, the most part, you know, niggas love New Year's because they fucking um, we make um, black eyed peas and shit and rice. You know that you know about that? Uh, not they really because my family's uh, Caribbean. Oh yeah, but in the hood, yeah. they say if you don't eat, um, I think it's black eyed peas and rice. If you don't eat that shit on New Year's. Then you, you you know you gonna have bad and luck. And it's bad luck. Yeah, yeah, so that's like your good luck chairman shit. But no, nah, man, niggas love uh, New Year's, man. I mean, for the most part, we just come up with um shit that we ain't gonna do for the rest of the year. Niggas, like, I'm gonna yeah. get in the gym. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of my kids. Like, motherfucker, you supposed to do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that be lasted forty eight hours max. No, nah, man, I always got a dumbass fucking New Year resolution, man. I told myself I'm gonna read more books this year, even though when I was in rehab, I did read a lot of books. Mm. Because I just had so much time on my hand. And I was like, you know, it was hard for me to sleep. I mean, it's been hard for me to sleep now since I've not been smoking weed and shit. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, just being in there, you know. At the, I mean, they, they work your ass out so fucking much. I'm not work. Actually, I was working out and shit. But mm -hmm. just doing so many meetings and lectures and all that mm -hmm. shit, going to fucking shit. So by the time mm -hmm. you lay down, 
you know, it's like the only time you really got to yourself and shit. So I would read myself to sleep. So, mm. but that was cool. Did you make any um, New Year's resolutions this year? <sighs> Hell no. Nah. I was yeah. trying to think of one. If I did, I don't think I did. I don't think I. I don't think I did. I just like sometimes like I do this thing where like I would just like record a video of myself talking. <laughs> um, just like. I don't know, of just like things that I like want to happen in the next year. Oh, yeah, like yeah. I started, like I just started doing that like like two years ago, mm -hmm. and then I just watch it at the end of the year and oh, then make another. That's one. dope. That's dope. Yeah. yeah, for the most part, me man, I just um, I say fuck a New Year resolution, man. Make an every week resolution. Yeah, man, there you, go. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck that shit, man, because it's just hard <clears throat> to stick to the script. A lot of you know fat motherfuckers be like, I'm gonna work out this year. This gonna be my year. Fuck that. It ain't gotta be a year, man. Just make it your week. You yeah. know, that's easy. Make it your day. Baby steps. Yeah. You know, I guess that's some shit I learned in rehab. They teach you that. You got to take one day at a time, man. You know, that's my whole shit, man. I don't think about like, I can't be like, I ain't going to drink next week. Shit, I'm just not about to drink today. You yeah. know what I'm saying? As uh -huh. long as I keep that mind frame, like, fuck uh -huh. that, I ain't drinking today. Uh -huh. and, that's, and that's how I've been rocking, man. So it's been working out for me, that's man. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah, for today, sure. yeah. I mean, I ain't. I ain't counting no more, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I always, I you know what I mean. Like I ain't drinking four weeks. I ain't drinking, mm -hmm. but I, now I ain't counting no more, man. I'm just, I ain't drinking. That's Fair just feet, how man. that is, man. I mean, I want to smoke weed. I ain't gonna lie. The no smoking mm -hmm. weed thing has been fucking with me like a motherfucker because yeah. it's just been affecting my sleep. And yeah. I told myself like, man, I ain't smoking weed. I'm gonna be more productive. Mm -hmm. I'm about to be making music and shit all the time and shit. But no, nah, man, I just be sitting around and be like, damn, I used to smoke weed when I do that. <laughs> <laughs> so that been the hard part of not doing shit. Like video games ain't been hitting the same way. Mm -hmm. Fucking Zelda just came out. I want to play that shit, but I can't sit around and do that shit now. You know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm just been trying to read books and shit. All right, next up, we got Cart Narcs. What? Uh, all right. Hey, Danny and the Booth Boys, I've been sitting on the ultimate white people shit. It's a YouTube channel called Cart Narcs, where a guy calls people out in parking lots for not putting their shopping carts back into the corral. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucked with this. I got to watch this shit. Put the cart back. I was able to put my car there. A guy can pull in and put... But not as well, because you blocked part of the it spot. Matter, not as well, dude. Yes, it does. What if they want to open their well. door? Ah! Yes. <laughs> yeah, nah, but that's not nice, sir. The nigga's pressing shit. He not go for that. Yeah, what if I like man? I don't, necessarily. <laughs> I tried, but I can imagine better better I would not. 50,000 views in a day from this shit. I mean, I would definitely think he got a lot of um, time on his hand. And he ain't doing this in the hood. Yeah. That's one thing about him. Tell, <clears throat> tell him take his ass to a save a lot and do that. They're going to hit his ass with the bubble cola. His ass ain't going to be able to make it out of that motherfucker alive, man. You better leave motherfuckers alone about them carts. But in part two, man, don't they got motherfuckers jobs that, that you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, I go grocery shopping and shit. Yeah, it'd be, it always be some young niggas pushing the cart. You know, there. you go to yeah. HEB, they making you fucking bag your own groceries up and shit. You know what I'm saying? For real. Half That's the time. here, right? H-E-B? Yeah, the H-E-B yeah. is fire. You definitely got it. I mean, Shit you know. Shit big as fuck. Well, I love the H-E-B. I was just in there the other day. I, oh man, I must be getting famous again, man. I was getting noticed and shit. I'm like, fuck, man. They like, oh Danny, oh shit. I'm like, fuck, I can't go to the HEB. Leave me alone, man. Cause at the end of the day, man, I ain't trying to get fresh to go to the HEB. But now yeah. it looks like I'm gonna have to. I was in there just going to pick up my prescription and shit. So I'm just, you know, I'm in there with the toes out. Motherfuckers running up on me, man. Danny, <laughs> Danny. I'm like, oh shit, not the HEB. This is the one safe place I thought I had. You ever be having disguises on, bro? No, a motherfucker told me told me I should do that. I'm like, man, because I, I was like, man, I can't be going to fucking um, meetings and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers telling my business and shit. Mm. Motherfuckers going home and shit. So I got to, you know, I got to go to some fly shit. And he's like, man, why don't you just wear a disguise? I look at the motherfucker like, nigga, you crazy. <laughs> you know how good I look? I want to go to show the world this. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way I'm fucking putting on the fucking, I'm going to put a hat on with a propeller and some shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Walk around looking like a fucking idiot. Mustache no, man. Overalls. I got too many clothes, man, that I want to wear, man. So fuck that, man. I ain't doing it. All right, man. You want to watch some freestyles? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's see these motherfuckers rap. Let me hear you bust a freestyle. First up, we got Cousin Ethan. Oh, shit. Cousin Ethan. Running up the paper like oh. you running up the fees. Cousin E, I'm just trying to be a money tree. Surviving off whatever that it is that costs the least. Do not buy if I don't need. You can't fuck with me. 
Running with the same shit that I always did Bring the realness to these kids Cause most of the lie fake Got rid of all the toxic shit in my space Brought peace to my brain You can't fuck up my day I've witnessed the wildest shit on my way Saw friends that went crazy Lost their damn brain Circumstances suck but nothing I can do to change Have my own responsibilities I had to maintain Best piece of advice is to protect your mainframe Cause the ones you keep around The ones who go to make you change Spend too much time surrounding yourself in lanes Watch a trajectory switch when you're trying to chase fame everything i need's right here you can't control me all my dreams plaguing out now at least mostly all this left is murdering you fuckers with the flow see me sitting by the heater right now just feeling toasty always show respect where it's due to this day we always got along you never got my funk sway though i couldn't care less about the clubs or the yayo are you getting to the cream or you just eating alfredo all my effort goes to recognizing all my flaws trying to look back and remember the time i paused Figured out the necessary actions I should take Put myself first and chase the passion I embrace Slap my cards up on the table right after I say my grace This shit came from a higher place to deny it would be a crime Don't intend on doing the time I'm appreciative of my rhymes The work ethic that I've been blessed with Nothing less than sublime You motherfuckers lying Saying there ain't nobody that spits it a dope as I Never been on a plane but I promise you that in time Also all you motherfuckers what it look like when I fly I need to Yeah No he's fire Best white dope. rapper since Eminem. But this is why my fucking um, packages be coming late. These motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> For real, man. I was waiting on some shit before I left. I'm like, because I don't be going, because motherfuckers be stealing packages where I'm at, man. Motherfuckers, uh, you got you hear your ring go off and shit. Be like, oh, shit. You see a motherfucker running up the street with your Amazon box and shit. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. And then driving while you rapping, man. That's crazy, man. I don't, I don't like that shit. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No one can do that. Yeah, man. I'm not good at driving, but no, nah, cause cause it's fire. I almost see. I, I always love um, cause if I didn't see him, I would have thought he was black. You know what I'm saying? So? <laughs> yeah, you like, went off his voice. Yeah, some you know, white dudes. Mad just, Times New Romany. Yeah, uh, I guess you're right, Bucky. I guess, but you know, I, I don't. I can't say <laughs> I don't like it because I do. Cause I, some of my favorite um white rappers sound white. You yeah. know. No, nah, I think that's. I think it's. I think it's fire when they do, cause you rapping like how you talk. Yeah, yeah. that's my whole shit. Like I never yeah. want to be the guy that uh, always had that. Like uh, I don't want to be saying words that I wouldn't use in normal conversations. Mm. But sometimes some shit is just too cool to rhyme. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, fuck that. I want to rhyme that shit when mm. I hear a word or something. You know, I'm be like, fuck that. I gotta rhyme that shit. Mm. But no, I cause it's fire, man. But man, goddamn it, man, you can't be fucking rapping. You you got two violations right there, man. Delivering packages I late, think. busting freestyles for the Danny Brown show. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Amazon is crazy, man. They, I seen the fucking, I don't, they got the fucking own booth where they get the um, time out where they want to go take a break and some shit. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, you said what? They got it. It's like an actual like booth or some shit, like a, a relaxation booth or something. Right? They go and they just get too stressed out. They just go sit and it's like, it look, I don't know, like a chamber or some shit, man. <laughs> Amazon is like modern day slavery. Oh, right yeah, now. Amazon. <laughs> that makes, now you said Amazon. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Amazon, that seems, that seems like a very stressful job. Yeah, he's wild this shit up, man. Thank oh, God man. I knew how to rap, because my dumb ass would have been working at Amazon. <laughs> I could already see it, man. I would have yeah. been fucking some shit up. I would have got fired for stealing, though. <laughs> <laughs> I already know. I would have stole some shit. Sorry. <laughs> Next up, we got another one. Next up, we got Jesus O. This nigga yeah, name so <laughs> Danny Brown. Big fan, dog. All right. Let's get into it. You already know that I take it on the lamb. Goddamn dangerous like Van Damme. I'm in high demand. Don't give a fuck. I'm the motherfucking man. Doing all this shit explosive like Afghanistan. My flows are dangerous like a motherfucking beetle. Don't give a fuck. You already know that I'm like a seagull. I'm always soaring up in the motherfucking sky. You already know that I'm always high and I never try. Always so mother, mother, motherfucking lazy. I give a fuck and I'm not that motherfucking lazy. I keep saying fuck just as a fucking filler. Doing all this shit. You already know I give my middle finger to anyone that wants to fucking test me. Don't give a fuck. A dangerous like asbestos that didn't rhyme but i am the bestest you already know that i going not need a test kit because i'm always doing it don't give a fuck and i just go and spit oh this is what i'll be talking about sometimes <laughs> That's why preparation is always the best shit, man. You know this motherfucker. You already know I'm the motherfucking man. I'm the mother, 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 motherfucking man. What you say? He said you already know. Like I don't know shit, man. <laughs> you were right. You do look like a motherfucking seagull, though. That hey, motherfucker knows it's crazy. 
I ain't gonna lie when he said Miller, I thought he was gonna rhyme that with the hard R. I was a little. I oh, was oh like, you was ready I for was his like, ass. Whoa. I was like, where is this about to go? <laughs> you was ready for his ass, man. But nah, man, uh, I guess you're having fun. That's sometimes, man, that's where we at in this world. Dang, that's what I said, man. We all thought we was gonna go to the NBA when we was kids. You got motherfuckers like this busting bars, man. I blame Eight Mile. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so we about to get up out of here, man. <laughs> Red Bell, thank you for coming through, dog. Hey, thank you for having me, Dog, bro. you had to plug some shit, man? You got the new EP yes, out? Yes, sir. Playing with Fire. I'm yeah. on tour right now. Oh, uh, shit. And I'm, I'm touring Australia. Oh, you about yeah, to go to Australia? I'm Australia and New Zealand. You are? You been over there before? Never. Oh, shit. Never. So, yeah, bro. Pull up. All these shows, they're just about to get crazier and crazier. Playing with Fire, the EP is out right now. Yeah, man. You're going to have a great time in Australia, man. So, yeah, I would say, man, thank you for coming through, man. Love what you're doing, man. Hey, you got you, you just fucking positivity just come off you, man. You make me fucking happy to be a rapper, man. Just seeing hey, kids man, like so you, man, doing your fucking thing, man. So, you got you got the word. The world is in your hands, man. That's all I'm going to tell you, man. You got it, man. So, thank you, brother. All right, man. See y'all motherfuckers next week, man. Love y'all, man. Keep it. Keep it gangster, your boy. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>